Elon Musk said that the Roadster that carries the Falcon Heavy demo mission will be launched on a homeward transfer to Mars orbit, but he's been a little vague about what he means by Mars orbit. If we take his words 100% literally, a fully Hohmann transfer launched from Earth on February 6th or 7th would end up looking something like this. Now, I'm not privy to any of SpaceX's actual plans, but I strongly suspect that Musk was simplifying things when he made that comment, and that's not what we're actually going to see. There's just really no reason to launch a spacecraft on a perfectly Hohmann trajectory in February of this year. Now, it's true that a Hohmann transfer is, in general, the most energetically favorable way of getting from Earth to Mars, but that's only true when Earth and Mars are in exactly the right positions, and they just aren't right now. A true Hohmann transfer launched from Earth to Mars right now would take the Roadster no closer than 90 million kilometers from Mars, 0.6 times the distance from Earth to the Sun. Now, it's true that the Earth-Mars transfer window opening in April-May of 2018 is nearly perfect for a Hohmann transfer. Earth and Mars are phased so correctly during that time that the 2018 trajectory is going to be the easiest transfer to Mars that has occurred since the year 2000, and we're not going to see another window as easy as that until 2033. But a spacecraft right now simply doesn't have the option to take that orbit, and it won't until April-May of 2018. So here's what I suspect is actually going to happen. And again, to be clear, I am entirely guessing. I have zero evidence this is what SpaceX is actually going to do. But given how light the Roadster is, and given how powerful Falcon Heavy is, I suspect Falcon Heavy is going to impart a little extra delta V to the Roadster beyond what would be required for a minimum energy home and transfer. This would allow the Roadster to get as close to Mars as SpaceX wanted sometime in October of 2018. Now, due to planetary protection issues, I don't expect the Roadster to get close enough that an actual collision would be a concern, but I would expect it to get closer than the 90 million kilometers afforded if it was restricted to a basic Hohmann transfer. The Falcon Heavy and the Roadster aren't capable of deep space maneuvers as far as we know, so I'm not expecting any high-precision flybys or gravity assists, but I might expect the Falcon Heavy to deviate from the standard Hohmann transfer enough that Mars's gravity would perturb the Roadster's perihelion such that the Earth encounters were no longer possible. An orbit like this is probably still not stable enough to accomplish Musk's stated goal of keeping the Roadster locked in the same orbit for a billion years, but it would be a little more stable than a basic Hohmann transfer, which would otherwise be perturbed every few decades by a close encounter with Earth.